Hello, my name is Adele Vincent. Hi, I'm Christopher Malice. We hope you're ready to rock with us. I'm going to tell you a little bit about We Rock Charlotte. So We Rock Charlotte is a 501c3 nonprofit located in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's important to using youth and being empowered through music and that's what they pledge to do and it helps them develop life skills such as leadership and finding their voice. We Rock's organization is designed to successfully retain customers as they progress and stay in their camps or programs as they get older. We have taken this into consideration when creating our hyper-personalized plan to collect customer data and find a new approach to privacy and ethics during this process. We Rock Charlotte's target market includes middle-aged women, 35 to 50, who are willing to buy and have an intent to buy. We will then talk about We Rock Charlotte's target market with the whole purpose of our plan is to engage the target market through AI to create a hyper-personalized plan for each customer. We hope to create and lead a positive change in the organization and prepare We Rock Charlotte to be a successful in the future as advancements are made in the world. We Rock offers a variety of products and services to its customers. This includes music lessons, book clubs, film camps, adult programs, scholarships, and much more fun throughout the entire year. We began developing our research study in September 2022. We met with Britt Swider and Crystal Baller, two top executives in the We Rock organization. We gained helpful insight on their current data collection practices. After learning about their current data collection practices and their clientele, we decided to develop an online Google Form survey. This best suits the needs of their clientele as they have busy day-to-day -day schedules and it allows them to have plenty of flexibility to complete the survey at their own convenience. And you can see this with this chart right here. Our survey questions included respondents' city and town, their zip code, their past participation in programs, the number of visits they've had to the We Rock website, and two open-ended questions about We Rock's data collection practices. With our findings from the survey, we found that the overall majority live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Guitar was the most popular instrument played with bass and keys falling after that. The most popular zip code we found was 29715. And the most customers almost never visit the We Rock Charlotte website. So after doing all this, what did we find? After doing our own research, meeting with the executive directors, and collecting survey responses from customers, we came to the conclusion that We Rock focuses highly on customer geographics. As we analyzed our data collected from the Google Forms survey and data provided by the We Rock organization itself, it was evident that We Rock is clearly a grassroots organization with customer geographics at the forefront of their success. We decided that it was time for We Rock Charlotte to go on tour. Rock it out, Adele. Given that the organization thrives during the summer, we developed a 10-month timeline starting in late August 2023 and ending in May 2024, as you'd like to see in our calendar. This allows We Rock Charlotte time to advertise and review data to develop hyper-personalized plans for our customers, while also enhancing and improving the existing summer camps, programs, and such as looking at large spaces and expanding the days. The tour is our proposed strategic plan and will take place around the city of Charlotte. Tour stops numbers one, three, and four will be large style events. We will have our own booth, tent, table, and kazoos with noisemakers, instruments, and flyers tailored to the event, along with a unique survey for attendees to fill out to collect customer data. Tour stop number one is in Freedom Park, Central Charlotte for Festival in the Park. For tour stop number two, as we will be doing something a little bit different, making various stops around Mecklenburg County to various elementary schools in the Charlotte Mecklenburg school systems by giving out such flyers and talking to students and getting them involved and getting to find what instrument that they would really like. Tour stop number three is in Valentine's, South Charlotte, as we will be visiting Markets at 11. And lastly, with tour stop number four, we will be in Uptown Charlotte, and we will be visiting Charlotte South. 
The whole point of this tour is to provide a large outreach in the community for us to develop successful hyper-personalized plans. We will promote the tour to current and potential customers through social media, the weekly newsletter, and the We Rock Charlotte website on tour. With our surveys, we will be including a disclaimer informing customers about what their information will be used for, ways to reach out for questions related to the survey, privacy concerns, and assurance that their data will be used for re-rock purposes only. To make sure that all of this stays true, we will use AI platforms such as Typeform to maintain all information electronically. Complementing the Rock Charlotte tour is a new artificial intelligence. It's called Artificial Linguistic Internet Computer Entity, or we like to call ALICE for short. ALICE is a natural language processing chatbot that assists customers as needed on the website. ALICE has the ability to carry a full conversation with the customer through tracking the customer's activity and movement on the website. We plan to measure the success of the We Are Rock Charlotte tour through our performance indicators on this chart. So Chris, how are we gonna fund our proposed strategic plan? Since We Rock is a nonprofit organization, we have developed a strategic and relatively low cost budget to fit the financial needs of the organization. You'll see that the bulk of our budget comes from printing our informational flyers. You're probably wondering where we're going to get all this money from. We will use the revenue received from previous programs in the organization to help fund this budget. We have also looked into receiving scholarships from community partners to help fund the tour. Additional needed items such as tablecloths, tents, and any general necessities will be provided by the organization itself and will be of no expense to our tour. The proposed budget is likely to be highly successful as it is a manageable amount to be used over the time span of 10 months. Now, why is the We Rock Charlotte tour a great plan? We've developed a plan to personalize the customer experience by using our artificial intelligence survey, data already collected through the company's website, the AI chatbot Alice, and social media analytics. To address any concerns regarding customer privacy, our disclaimer on our surveys outlines how we plan to use their data. Furthermore, as I previously mentioned, our budget is cost effective and designed for a nonprofit organization, minimizing any high expenses. Lastly, WeRock's products and services will be greatly enhanced as we market the organization at these massive festivals around the city of Charlotte. We hope to see you along on the tour. Do you have any questions regarding our project?